In this video, we are taking our first look at these, the Sketchers X Row number six. What is up, everybody, and welcome to 40 Runs. How are we all doing, people? Now, were you a fan of Max Row 5? If you were, let me know in the comments. I was a huge fan of that shoe and still am, and you can pick them up cheap, people. But we've got the Max Road 6 on the channel, and I wanted to talk to you about them because, guess what? I'm excited. Right now, so let's get the uh, disclaimers out of the way because for you know, you guys, oh, he's sponsored by Sketches, oh, he's going to talk about it. Right, okay. So, we have a relationship with Sketches, they sponsor the podcast, right? The shoes they send in are for review purposes only, and in fact, right, this is true, I ask for certain shoes to be sent in. They don't send them to me readily because uh, there's delays in uh, some of the shoes coming to the UK, so I'm always nagging for shoes. So actually, instead of them sending them to me for review, I'm asking Sketches to send them to me so I can review. Does that make any sense? But I'm not getting a, a script from Sketches. I'm not being told to say nice things about the shoes. Um, I just genuinely, as always, will give you my honest opinion on the shoes. But Hopefully by now you know that we have a relationship with Sketchers. They sponsor the podcast. Uh, and, and yeah, so I don't think I can be any clearer. Oh, that's the other thing I got accused of the other day. No, I'm not a um, Sketchers athlete. That would be pretty awesome, wouldn't it, to call myself a Sketchers athlete. But no, I'm not under a contract as a Sketchers athlete, okay? So again, make that absolutely clear. Whew, right, I've got that out of the way. Okay, right, so let's talk about the Max Road 6. Right, so, uh, Max Stack, Max Cushion, awesomeness from Sketches. I've been waiting for this shoe because the Max Road 5 has been out a while and I used and abused a couple of pairs of those for marathon training over the last few years uh, and I couldn't wait to get a pair, another new pair uh, of the Max Road 6 because I, I like a shoe in my rotation, um, like the Nimbus 25, that is just comfortable and eats miles. The Glidewire 3 is a phenomenal shoe. Right, a phenomenal shoe, but it's not the most comfortable. It does the job extremely well on the flight phone blast uh, introduction and all that sort of stuff. It's made the shoe great, but there is something different to, to doing a long run in a, in a Max Road 6 versus a Glide Ride, okay? Big difference. But this shoe is just, it's just so comfortable, like on another level comfortable. It is comparable to the Nimbus 25 in terms of comfort. You've got an increased stack height of the shoe. And actually, actually, let's stop there. Let's do the stats and features before we carry on. Right, so the midsole is now hyperburst ice. There's actually two layers, um, two densities to the to the foam. We've got hyperburst 0.1 and hyperburst 2. We've got hyperburst 1 around the outside is like a carrier foam. And then you've got hyperburst ice, uh, which is a softer version of, of hyperburst, sort of in the middle, which is a softer ride, but you've then got the version one around the outside to add the stability. Makes sense, they've increased the stack of the shoe. Now I wrote the stack down, 38 mil stack. You've got a six mil drop in the shoe. Fits true to size, it's $140. Uh, you've got a carbon uh, infused uh, training plate, let's call it up the front. We've got the um, increased and improved outsole with Goodyear rubber, see that? Uh, on the outside, which has got some reasonable depth to it. So in terms of traction, especially for me down the canal toe pass, it's really improved. We've got arch fit, podiatrist, podiatrist impro uh, approved um, arch fit in there. So you've got some arch support. Uh, what else, what else, what else? You've got just unbelievable stepping comfort from the shoe. It really is a really super comfortable place uh, to be. Uh, you've got a reworked upper, which is actually a little bit thicker. Uh, the shoe has increased in terms of weight, but it's not noticeable on foot. Uh, actually, let's tell you what, let's just quickly weigh it. Shoe is 348 grams, so again, it's not light. I get told off on this channel because I moan about heavy shoes, but it's not, you know, overly, overly heavy, um, overly light, sorry. Um, but yeah, fits true to size, $140. Oh, release date, May 2023, I think, uh, is where it's currently scheduled for release in the UK that will follow at some point. Uh, just watch out on different websites that you can pick it up. I think that's it in terms of stats and features. Okay, right, so the most important takeaway I think from this shoe is comfort. It is on par with the Nimbus 25 for me in terms of comfort. It is a shoe that can just eat miles. It is a shoe that can go long, it's a shoe that can go short. It's not a shoe that's particularly fast in any shape or form. It's, it's max cushioned, awesomeness it really is i don't think there's as i said uh, other than the nimbus 25 there's a shoe that works for me like the max road 
six does. The more four was too soft, and this is just that nice balance between you know where I want to be for comfort and and, and um, a shoe that can go long with, without being too mushy. It really is a super comfortable place to be. It just eats miles. If you've got marathon training and you want a comfortable shoe that can do a bit of recovery, a bit of longer work at easy pace, then I think the Max Road 6 is where it's at, people. Yes, the Nimbus 25 is probably that little bit more mm, versatile, I would say, um, than this. This is a maybe more of a selective taste than the Nimbus 25. Now, that's not to say either are bad shoes because they're both very, very good shoes. But this is just so comfortable. I can't get, I can't emphasize enough how comfortable this shoe is, is to wear, to live in, to breathe in. And that's what Sketches have done so well with this shoe. They've sort of taken the, the comfort of their normal day to day shoes that people, you know, uh, across the world wear Sketches for because they're so damn comfortable. And they put that into a running shoe. And that's the biggest thing with the Max Road. They've improved the outsole, which is fantastic. They've taken those knobbly bits away from it. So if comfort is the main factor for you in terms of a running shoe, then I think you need to look at the Max Road 6. But don't underestimate the performance side of the shoe because I don't, I don't think people understand how good it feels on those sort of longer runs, on those, those runs where you're just, you are running easy and you know, you should be doing a lot of your effort at easy pace. There's a lot to be said for finding a good shoe that can cover that miles and do it well. So don't underestimate the performance of the Max Road as well. Right, so there we go. That's the first fault. We're now going to absolutely use and abuse this shoe. Um, not like we do with all the Max Roads that we get on this channel. Uh, so I'll probably come back to you. Um, let's say, what should we do? 100 mile review? Fair to say? Should we do that? Let's do a 100 miler on this one. Um, and then let's come back talk again about the durability because as I say it's, it's, it's a, an important topic with this shoe because people always go oh they don't last they don't last but we've proved it with the other one but I want to come back so yeah let's say a 100 mile review we'll come back and do it on the Max Road 6 but when they do drop which was I said in May straight away I think you need to grab a pair